What's going on, everybody? My name is Sirianni here. I'm whispering because it's uh, 4.30 in the morning and uh, my whole entire family is probably sleeping right now. I just want to welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. But first of all, I want to take a second and actually just thank you all for a thousand subscribers. Um, when I started this channel, I honestly just was posting workouts and uh, I'm actually like so thrown away that like I would even get to a thousand subscribers. So I just want to really thank you guys for getting me there and supporting me. Uh, first things first, welcome back to the vlog. Today is going to be my second vlog on my YouTube channel. And now we are going to be going over kind of just like how I've been doing with uh, in regards to my body, uh, my training, um, my overall mood. And uh, guys, I honestly have to say that like, I feel absolutely amazing. Um, you know, ever since I stopped fasting and uh, kind of just been doing it three days a week, it's been way better, um, a lot better on my body. And I really have like, I'm not really anxious or have like stress on my body anymore. My training's a lot better. I'm not really killing myself during my workouts. I'm really prioritizing my protein intake and um, my weight training. So I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how much I weigh now and uh, and then overall physique update on what I'm actually looking like. Um, I will say that, um, you know, I, I you guys will be pretty shocked when you see the scale um, compared to last time. Um, I have been really dialed in lately and uh, you know, I, re I really want this and I, I really want to show you guys that it is possible and achievable to kind of sustain, you know, this overall physique with a, you know, balanced, healthy lifestyle, you know, being able to just go out, um, eat your favorite foods, um, you know, and just live normally, right? And not feel like, you know, you can't do certain things because, you know, you're restricted, you know, and uh, yeah, I just want to make this vlog uh, pretty fun today. I'm really excited. Um, you know, I got a big day ahead, I got a big busy day at work today. I'm training about eight to nine clients today. So I'm gonna be working from 6 a.m. to 12 o'clock and I got a haircut later on and then uh, I'm not done to work till about six o'clock later tonight. I'm gonna show you guys the whole day and uh, you guys are gonna see, so stay tuned. All right guys, so let's see exactly how much I weigh this morning. Let's see here, I will tell you Okay, so I am about 172.4 pounds. Guys, I am 172.4 pounds. Now, last week I hit a low of 170.4. Um, you know, guys, body weight fluctuates every week, right? So I could have just been retaining more water this morning. But uh, moral of the story is that I could have, you know, possibly dropped at least a good four to five pounds uh, since my last vlog with you guys, which is roughly, I would say, about a pound a week. Um, I've been really dialed in, like I said, and I've been, you know, I've been stopping uh, to eat at around 8 p.m. every single day. I've been really consistent with it, uh, maybe minus like a Saturday night if I go all night. But other than that, I've been very dialed in with my training. Um, so a little update on my training. I've been lifting weights uh, about three times a week and I've also incorporated in one day of cardio where I have a goal of mine where I just want to run five to six K once a week. Um, I just feel like that's all my body can really handle right now. I feel like just running is very rough on my knees. So I don't really want to, you know, injure my knees too much just from doing that. But um, yeah, I've been doing a push pull leg split and um, I usually train for on my rest days. Uh, for about eight to ten minutes um, of a body weight routine or I go incorporate a 30 minute ab routine that I go through in a circuit um, but yeah uh, so there's my update on my physique um, I obviously you know look less bloated in my core I feel like personally you guys just saw in the previous video my little uh, clip there but um, you know what guys like it is possible and achievable to uh, do something if you do put your mind to it and um, yeah, so guys, I'm gonna say it's you know 4:30. Let's go get a coffee. <laughs> Literally look forward to this moment 
uh, right before I go to bed. That's what actually makes me fall asleep, but I just actually just can't wait to just come and sip this coffee. Oh my God, amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, so my morning routine basically, I will do another video on that because you guys do ask me for it all the time. So stay tuned to that on my channel. But I'll give you a little bit of a brief right now. In the morning, I usually just come onto my laptop. Um, you know, I just check out um, you know some of my YouTube, see what my YouTube is doing. And uh, you know, today actually, for example, I have to upload uh, another YouTube video uh, this afternoon. So I'm gonna be looking into you know the caption and titles. And um, you know, I'm waiting on a thumbnail from my social media man manager, and uh, he'll be getting that to me uh, today. But yeah, uh, I answer uh, some comments on my Instagram in the morning on my phone, and um, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, I am fasting this morning, so I will not be eating anything until about 12 o'clock. Um, I did prepare my first meal, and I do have a second meal prepared, um, but later tonight I will be making something and show you guys later when I get home from work. But um, yeah, so stay tuned for when I'm eating my first meal, and uh, I'm gonna be leaving for work very soon. basically my day every single day in the summertime when I start my car in the morning I wake up with the entire neighborhood uh, including my sister whose bedroom is on top of the garage right above where I start my car yeah so guys I'm just on my way to the gym now to train so guys a little bit of background uh, information about me um, I started uh, personal training when I was about uh, 18 years old so I've been doing it now for almost six years this August and um, I absolutely love it my my passion is fitness and um, I love training people and inspiring people every single day. Um, I usually start work uh, every day or almost every other day at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. in the morning. And uh, I train till about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I have a few hours in the middle of my day and then I go back to work um, also, uh, after that as well. So you guys are gonna see that all today in the vlog. And I'm just pulling up to work now. I'm gonna show you guys my work. Of you on my stories always ask me nando how do you get up in the morning so early like do you enjoy waking up that early and honestly like i'm just so used to it now and i've been doing this for the past three four years i don't really have a choice um you gotta understand in personal training people like to work out very early in the morning before they go to work so um i know that for myself i would want to do that as well if i just wasn't in this industry but that's just the way it is guys and i actually really enjoy it. like when you love what you do you're not really gonna hate waking up for anything. So make sure that you just find something that you really love to do and um, it will just work out for you, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna kill all my clients today with training sessions. You know, after this um, you know, time change, the past two days, I've been really tired and uh, I don't know, my body was just like, just tired, like for the past two days, I, I couldn't break it. But uh, you know, I, I feel amazing today and I'm ready to attack the day today. So guys, stay tuned. As you guys saw there, I'm having my overnight oats with a protein bar. This protein bar is about 10 grams of protein, it's about 190 calories. I would say that this overnight oats is about 300 to 400 calories. So my first meal of the day is about 600 calories. I would say I have about three meals that are about 600 to 700 calories each meal. And then at night, of course, I like to have a snack. Now, um, you know, the protein in here is mainly chia seeds and there is a little bit of the protein in some oatmeal. So I'm looking at probably around, uh, just around 20 to 25 grams of protein just in this serving. Now, again, I usually drink a lot of water during the day. I'm gonna go about for about two to three liters of water. And um, I'm just breaking my fast with this. Now, my next meal, you will see later on today. I'm not too sure yet if I'm going home or not. So I will show you guys the next meal. Now, I am a person to kind of get my meals to have high volume and not so boring. I'm not the person to kind of just like sit down and eat something very boring. You know, like this oatmeal, it's got a lot of volume to it. It's got fruit, it's got chia seeds, it's got peanut butter. You know, um, and you can, you can do so much, right? And you can even put yogurt in it. But as long as you guys are, you know, making your food taste good, you're gonna wanna eat it. It's gonna, it's gonna make you kind of eat a little bit healthier. Um, if it doesn't taste good, you're not gonna wanna eat it. So remember to 
make sure that your food tastes good and is healthy. This is the best part of the week for me because I finally get to go get a haircut and I go get a haircut every two weeks. Um, I don't know if that's a lot or when you guys go get your haircut, but I'm usually getting my haircut every two weeks. I don't know guys, I honestly just love the way it feels just getting a haircut and like just going there, the whole experience, just sitting down, enjoying it, like talking with the boys in the barbershop. I just love it and you know, it just makes you feel amazing uh, every time you get that haircut. Uh, it just boosts you know, your confidence and everything. It just makes you feel so good, especially in the summertime, like you get a nice fresh fade, you know, it, it just, you feel so good. But you know, at least that's something that uh, I really look forward to and just, uh, you know, keeps me motivated and uh, of course obviously because I you know I post a lot of fashion stuff and you know I want to look um, you know good every two weeks for my photos and stuff because I am shooting new content every week so I want to just kind of stay up to date with that now um, having said that I know some of you actually asked me uh, previously to actually do a hair tutorial video or a video of me just in the salon and actually how I get my hair cut. I really want to do something like that, but with COVID right now, it is so hard that I would probably want to get that professionally done and actually get someone in there to actually film the whole thing and um, you know maybe get more of the barber to talk and stuff like that about what he's actually doing to my hair. But until then, I'm gonna try and just you know maybe today showed you show you guys some little bit of clips inside the barber shop, but just to kind of feel the vibe of my blog today. Um, but uh, yeah, I will be doing something like that very soon on my channel. Just finished at the barber shop and let me tell you, I feel like a completely new person. Um, so I pretty much just went really short on the sides there so i get about um a 0.5 and i bring it up to about a one now i just left the top a little bit longer because i actually just like having some hair to play with more when i'm styling so i usually just style my hair either down or up um but yeah guys i'm on my way back i'm actually gonna go by my boss's house nat and actually just grab something to eat there so i'll probably end up just making some eggs with some toast and some avocado let's uh, let's see what he has and i'll make the best of it and uh, just like I said before, guys, you know, things happen every day and, you know, it, you don't have a plan sometimes. You just kind of kind of go with the flow. But as long as you have those, you know, those numbers in your head of what you have to hit. Like I said, I try and hit roughly, you know, 20, 30 to 40 grams, depending on my day per meal. Um, I don't really stress. I try not to stress myself out too much about it because then again, it will turn me off. And you don't want it to be like that. You want it just to be a lifestyle. And as long as I'm thinking about healthy food during the day, and uh, you know just getting in the good nutrients that's all that matters so i can't wait to show you guys my second meal of the day see you guys soon absolutely just crushed my second meal of the day four eggs plus the three pieces of toast and half an avocado so this toast bread is about 180 calories per two slices so i had about three so 180 Plus the 90 is 270. Now plus the four eggs I have is about 320 calories. So 320. Half an avocado, 120. Yeah, so 320 plus 270 plus 120. It's about 700 calories for that one meal. Um, so yeah, I'm plus at- Plus the coconut oil. Plus the coconut oil, which was, that was probably about, okay, I'm at, are you trying to rub it in? I'm, no, it's fast. So just talking about me not and Eden about kind of just, you know, falling into that bad habit of, you know, how easy it is to order from Uber Eats and, you know, Guys, like I said before, you guys can make your meals so good and it can just taste so much better. You know, it's just, you have to get into that lifestyle kind of choice and just, you know, get into a routine of, you know, creating that good vibe for yourself and making your plate nice and presentable so that, you know, you want to eat healthier during the day. And that's all it's about is just uh, staying consistent to yourself and, you know, getting after your goals. What do you guys think about that? Nutrient dense foods, bro. Nutrient dense foods? That's it. Them on your plate. Like what do you like what do you have to say to people that are trying to like stay more like accountable and stuff like throughout the day? Make a plan. Because without a plan, a goal is just a dream. That's what I say. So you make a plan and it makes things easy. Yeah. Make a schedule Monday to Friday, pick your three meals, put them on a plate yeah, and definitely. cheat on the weekends. Definitely. You know, and don't even call it cheating, just call it like refeeding yourself the stuff that you yeah, it's craved like all a, week. It's almost like a reward kind of like Yeah, a reward. Yeah. Reward yourself for eating healthy Monday to Friday, and then you don't feel so yeah. bad about yourself. I also even like to just have like some basic like sources of you know my carbs my proteins my fats that i go to during the week just so it's easy for myself to kind of okay like 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I know I'm having smoked salmon or like I just make it easy for myself where I kind of just pick certain foods I really love and I just stick to them throughout the week, right? That's, I would that's say that, you know? uh, most important, most important That's add in, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know what you were asking. <laughs> <laughs> that, was so, that was so casual. <laughs> I would say, I thought you guys were just talking. No. I would say that the most important piece of the puzzle to mm -hmm. you know, sticking to an actual good diet um, start the week off right. Go out yeah, there, Monday. buy groceries. Yeah. I can tell you that last week, for example, I had a horrible, horrible week, fell off completely because mm -hmm. I didn't have the option of making food. I didn't have anything in the fridge. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. Just, I didn't have what I needed to, to stick to it. So I, yeah. I just find that when I go out there and I actually, you actually go to the grocery store. I go to the right? grocery yeah. store, yeah. I stock up on yeah. the eggs, the tuna, so the, the healthy bread yeah. when, it's, when it's in there. Uh, and, and there's easy access, yeah, it's yes, much 100%, easier to follow through. 100%, yeah. It's a, you know what, it makes it a lot easier to just execute you know, what you have in your head and just go after your goals at the end of the day, right? So, moral of the story of this little small little clip here is just to you know be prepared for your week and set yourself right, right from the beginning of the week and that's it. But anyways, I'm gonna have to be getting back to work at about four o'clock, I have two more clients and I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what I'm gonna be eating tonight for dinner, so stay tuned. What a day, what a day, great day of training. All my clients killed it today, absolutely had the energy. You know what, I gotta be honest with you guys, like the past two, three days, I don't know if the time change messed me up, but today was probably my best day of the week. My energy was there, my mental focus was there, everything was good. Um, you know what, I didn't even get a chance to work out today, uh, but you know what, I'm gonna kill a workout tomorrow. Um, I haven't really took a rest day in a while, so it's actually nice just to kind of get a rest day. Um, which is really good to do sometimes to be honest with you it kind of just brings you back into loving training again when you take one or two days off so very important also just a quick reminder to take your rest days that is so important for your body just to recover and also just to feel better mentally and when you attack that next workout but i'm on my way home now i get so excited on my way home because i just get to go for a drive listen to some music and then i got a nice dinner at home um, so i do cook up two out of three of my meals the third meal is probably gonna be ready on the table because my parents, whatever my parents are eating, I usually just eat at that, whatever that is. Um, I think tonight's salmon and we have a potato, which I'll show you guys. Um, but I, I roughly know the macronutrients of them when I do look at it. So right now I'm looking for about 30 to 40 grams of protein and with some moderate carbs, uh, 30 to 40 grams of carbs. And of course, some vegetables, very important to eat your greens. Um, I try and have at least two servings of vegetables um, at dinner time. Uh, sometimes I lack it during the day, uh, just running around with work and some stuff like that. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm almost home and I'll see you guys soon. Dinner was absolutely amazing. It's exactly what I wanted. So I gotta be honest with you guys, um, you know, prior to doing this, um, little thing I'm doing here on YouTube I did was eating a lot more than what you just saw so um, you know like it is a lot harder for me to actually you know eat those smaller portions of potatoes uh, salmon and the uh, vegetables but you know I always like showing my plate so I always just fill up my plate with a little bit of carbs some protein and of course at least half that plate has to be vegetables vegetables are so important you know throughout the day and um, you know I really I really prioritize eating my greens during the day but guys, you know what? That was my last meal of the day. I'm now gonna go have a snack. I think my girlfriend made some like interesting chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. So I'm really excited to try one of those before I uh, end off for the day. So it's about seven o'clock now. I'm gonna stop eating at eight o'clock because that's what I've been doing lately. And I just feel like it's been working. My stomach is just nice and light before I actually go to bed. And that's just what's been working for me lately. So I've just been sticking to it. So I'm gonna be showing you these cookies uh, very soon. Guys, these are amazing. Does it mean you're stopping? Huh? You're not doing no, I'm doing my vlog still, Mom. It's not done yet. So, what are the, where are these? Can you tell everybody? Right now? Yes, right now. 
What are what are in these? So chocolate chips, oats, dates, dates, peanut butter, peanut butter, chia seeds, chia seeds, almond milk, okay. coconut flakes. Okay. What's not in them? And I think that's it. Those are a couple. Okay, and how many calories would you say one of these cookies is approximately? Like 200? 100? Maybe, maybe 150 to 200. Yeah? Okay. So I'm probably gonna, I'll probably end up eating around 150 to 200 calories. No, I'm not. I'm gonna have two of these. I'm definitely gonna have two of these. How can you not have two of these? Look, look at that. Unbelievable. Right? All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it was actually better than the first one, as this was my second vlog on my YouTube channel. Now, overall update, I'm 172.4 pounds. Now, the next time I do this vlog in about a month, three weeks to a month, I'm gonna try doing three weeks um, next, uh, next time, but hopefully I will be in the high 160s, like 168, 169. That's where I'm projecting to be. Maybe I'll need to add in an extra day of some fasting or kind of like increase my cardio or try and up my protein just a little bit just so I can uh, sustain as much muscle mass as I can as I'm losing weight. But guys, if you like this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button for me as it really does help out my channel and I do really appreciate it. And guys, subscribe because I want you guys to be a part of this channel and my community because I'm posting new content every single week regarding fitness, fashion, and lifestyle. And I want all of you to be a part of it. And I have a lot of new stuff coming onto this channel and I'm super excited. But until then, I'll see you all next time. Oh,